Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a look at the NuFi Air 75. This is a mechanical keyboard that is ultra slim, having just 16 millimeters in terms of thickness. So that's compared to most mechanical keyboards, uh, which are gonna be bulkier than the average because they have to make room for switches and keycaps that usually takes up more space. So it's impressive how much they were able to squeeze things down and has a aluminum frame. So it should be pretty solid as well in terms of the build. This is also gonna be a wireless keyboard. So it can be used used in a Bluetooth mode to connect without any cables to smartphones and tablets, for example, it comes with this companion case that you can use to fold up and keep the keyboard protected if you are traveling with it. And the case even includes a kickstand portion that you can use to prop up a phone or tablet when you are paired. And then just like other mechanical keyboards, you can customize the keycaps by pulling them off, changing the colors, the styles to wash them, as well as even the switches. Now, because of all these innovations, including being the quote unquote thinnest wireless mechanical keyboard in the world, this does sell at a slightly higher price than some of the budget models we've seen in the past. So it sells for around a hundred bucks, but still it's not too bad compared to other brand names like Razer, for example, that can definitely have more expensive options for their mechanical keyboards in general. So here's a quick description of what those switches are like and uh, what it's going to be used for. So red switches are recommended for gamers, office workers, Blue switches have the loudest click, so a lot of people that are typing essays might like it. And then kind of brown is in between. The inside of the box, in fact, is even green and accented in this pretty vibrant way. A sticker from NuFi along with some of their logos printed on the edge. Now on the other side, we have some of the accessories, which are also presented really fancy, containing a keycap puller so you can remove the switches or the caps to uh, wash them or replace them. We get a few kind of custom keycaps if you want to switch them out. There's a standard USB type C cable for charging or if you want to use this as wired keyboard when plugged into a desktop or a laptop. And when you are using it with Windows and Mac computers, if in case your laptop doesn't have Bluetooth, you can also use this nano receiver and the keyboard will switch into 2.4G wireless mode. And then finally, we also get some sample key switches. In case you're curious of how they sound or perform, but you're unsure of the difference, you can kind of test this out yourself. So here's what a blue switch sounds like. But indeed, just look at how slim these switches are in terms of how much they were reduced to size. Now, of course, we've also got the aforementioned carrying case, which looks very vibrant and has a few kind of microfiber textures going on. There's kind of a Nufi uh, logo on the side designed by Nufi Studio. And then there's a simple latch that you can pull on to pop everything open. The inside here is again continuing with the microfiber texture. So it's very soft and it is slightly magnetic. So when you set the keyboard down on this ridge that has a few kind of bumpers that aligns up, it will stick in place and not really move around. A very stylish appearance, I have to say, and definitely slim for a mechanical keyboard. So it will be able to support something like another phone on the edge in addition to a standard tablet. And this actually works pretty well, I have to admit, in terms of supporting the weight. And overall, it's gonna give you a pretty decent experience when it comes to transforming your phone or mobile device into an easier experience as you're typing out longer emails in our particular case, we also had an optional accessory pack, which includes some additional keycaps if you want to switch them to a slightly different color or texture. So we have this version uh, that is going to give us some slightly different accents with the caps that are in this uh, gray color instead of the white. Now we're turning to take a closer look at the Air 75 keyboard. We can see that immediately it definitely is pretty attractive looking with all these funky keycaps and colors that they've gone with. And in our particular version, we do have the red switches and the frame of the keyboard as a mentioned is made out of aluminum including all the edges here and the rails so everything just feels really cold and solid to the touch with no flexing or bending even as you're pressing down with a bit more force otherwise here is a profile look from the edge here so it's in fact as slim as even a lot of island or regular membrane shake click keyboards that i've seen in fact here is a standard us quarter that you can use here just as comparison now on the very top we do have the type c port for charging and if you're using it as the wired mode which is going to accent it in this cyan green color that looks pretty attractive and also prevents the port from getting damaged. We also have some toggles for turning it into the off wired slash wireless modes as well as if we're using it with a 
Windows computer or a Mac that will also change some of the shortcuts a little bit. And then finally, here's what the keyboard looks like on the back. So also is pretty attractive and interesting looking, although this part is made out of a polycarbonate plastic instead of a unibody aluminum continuing from the front. Uh, but still, it feels solid and it's almost translucent. So if you're shining it onto the light, you can kind of make out uh, some of the keycaps and parts underneath. And then the rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around also has a magnet that sticks onto the case, is again green just like the accents on the front, a lot of attention to detail. And their logo here on the back is mirror-like, super shiny, but uh, also makes it look pretty attractive as well as elegant. No dedicated numpad on this compact layout, but we do have traditional arrow keys, shortcuts for escape, as well as all of these function keys that can double to do things like media controls. And then as aforementioned, here's what it sounds like just as a random typing test. pretty satisfying, especially if you are trying out the blue version in terms of the switches. It is very clicky, you don't have to exert that much pressure, just like any mechanical keyboard, you only have to press down a little bit, and the switch there kind of does the action for you. Benefits of a mechanical keyboard in general being that it can give you faster typing speeds, and it also is going to last you longer because everything is replaceable. And now turning the keyboard on, even in the wireless mode, this is a fully RGB keyboard. So in addition to these two little strips that we saw as part of the advertisements that are kind of giving you a gentle reminder on the edges that just looks pretty cool. Underneath each of the regular keys, we still have traditional lights that can illuminate it so you can make it out when typing in the dark, which is awesome, and has different transition modes and colors that you can further tweak. Now pairing it with a device using Bluetooth is really easy. Just tap on function and then tap on the one, two, and three keys to pair up to three devices at the same time. Checking out their quick documentation guide, we can also see a few more details like controlling things such as the backlight. We can tap on the function and the arrow keys testing that so I'm going to raise it a little bit higher this seems to be the maximum that it can be at and then all the way down to turning it completely off as you can see there aside from the side lights uh, so in terms of the maximum brightness I would say this is one area where uh, maybe the air 75 could be slightly improved in the future it is not the brightest in the world but still if you're typing in a darker space it's still nice to have in fact we still had a little bit of ambient light on there but here's what it looks like if you are completely in the dark Next, let's try the different color effects. So tapping on function and the arrow keys. So now it will go into this kind of strobing, just a red color light that is slightly breathing a little bit. And once more, we can go into kind of a similar effect, but for yellow, again, it will go into this green color, goes into a cyan green, a regular dark blue, goes into a magenta, and here's also a white light color that you have as well. But the effects here are pretty similar. And then it goes back into the rainbow color that we started off from. You can see it slowly strobe and change a little bit. You can also tap on the arrow keys as well to go through the brightness levels. You can either have it completely off or turn it back on as you can see there. The light, because it's not covered up by a keycap, is going to be a little brighter because it is using the latest Bluetooth 5.0. There's no issues here when it comes to latency or connectivity, even in the wireless mode. So here's a quick test. We can say, hello world. In fact, if we zoom in here, you can see how the keycaps as I'm pressing down is pretty much popping along here very quickly. Even if I'm doing something very rapidly, it doesn't really miss any letters. Regardless of if it's Android or iOS, you can also use the arrow keys to move around the overall system, change things like volume, and all of those can be triggered. Although, of course, with a mobile device, sometimes you still want to touch the screen to navigate maybe smaller cursor movements since it doesn't have really a mouse built on it. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the Nufi Air 75. I have to say this is one of my favorite wireless mechanical keyboards that I've tested yet. I just really love the way that it looks. Ultra slim and compact, very clever folding case design that can act as a kickstand, and overall very well put together. As long as you don't need something that has a numpad for as much dedicated number entry, I think this is going to serve you well for things like general gaming as well as typing in documents if you want a mobile option that is. So you can check out more details if interested in the links down below. That's been the Air 75 Wireless Mechanical keyboard.